I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hi, you're here again. So, we are rebuilding this whole floor, uh, and that includes underneath the bathtub. So we're going to replace the shower, bathtub, pull out the toilet, and pull out the sink for that matter. And replace all the floor, put the shower back, another shower back in, another toilet. They have another toilet after the flooring is on. So... This is uh, this, what this is is response to the two toilet lines. I'm assuming because there was no pressure regulator. As a matter of fact, we got to go find out where the water is now so we can turn it on. And we'll take you along with us so you can see how the camera and falls to the floor. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my video out and start taking it. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, pull these off. No, they got quarter inch screws and a lot of glue, probably. There's like a staple in the bottom. Nope. And then we pull all this off. got to get a full set over here and pull these handles off pull that off pull the covers off pull this off pull all these panels off and uh, run this for a while probably pull the shower head shower neck out back when we get to that point. <laughs> He's going to just grab it and growl. Again, I'm going to let him in there. This is another uh, rat or whatever making a nest underneath the tub. I see that a lot. Even in fancy houses. Look at a squirrel. Squirrel, yeah, they like it. It's a homemade nest. So, don't be totally ashamed if you find one yourself. And then out here, I say this tub is from the 60s, how heavy it is, but also look at the brass. You don't see that much anymore. Chrome plated trap. Just you can still buy this stuff, but it's not normal. It's high end stuff. But back then, this is heavy steel tub. It's not the way they did it in the from the late 70s on. Bought a plastic tub and put foam underneath it. Much sturdier, much sturdier. Now we're gonna tear out the floor and uh, start trying to rebuild. We'll show you when we get it tore out. One. Now, we've cleared all this off. Uh, we're going to put in plywood. We put in two, a two by here and a two by over here. And we're going to have it hanging over here. I'm not going to fill that area in yet because that's where the drain's going to be. And I don't know yet where the drains will be because I don't have the tub. And uh, so, found out after chiseling and everything, these glued down uh, floor joists, which are two by four in this case, that this little battery powered oscillating saw works really well as opposed to all my labor. This is our first time using it. It actually is the first time. We got it for a discount for some reason. I, I just didn't ever use it. I've got a bunch of others and I really like using this for cleaning off all that glued on stuff. So, matter of fact, back up there now.
So I have to pull the staples out. But it's like my own personal bumblebee. Yeah. So we'll just keep on. We're getting ready to put this uh, plywood down here. Got the dimensions and everything. He's going out to cut them. And I marked on the on the wall here where the floor joists are. Right here. So I can find them and put screws into them real quick. But there's a lot of wires here going to the panel. So I couldn't, and that's actually, that looks like wireline. It does, but it's got electrical numbers on it. No, it's electrical. Uh, so that'll be plenty strong right through there. So now that's what we're, we're doing. We're, we've gotten out the cabinet there and the one behind here. And the toilet. And the toilet's gone. We're making progress. Uh, we haven't been here four hours yet, three. You know, we had to go eat, so it takes a long ways to get to some place to eat. All right. Yeah, John is pretty interesting. Well, we need a video on him then. Somewhere. If it was in your pants, you'd know where it They're, was. Uh, yeah, on I... the table or on the counter behind you. On the counter. Up more. There was something. That was a pry bar. We will need to get so I'll get it. I just want to be climbing to get that.
what? We got an Allen and Roth acrylic shower base. It's a 60 inch by 30 inch. Now let's take a look at what it's what it looks like. Instructions. Purchase date. I guess it has a instructions on what to do. So we'll do that as we go along. It has a blue plastic covering in it. And it's heavy. Got supports right here. So you're not going to be screwing it into place. You're going to be screwing it into place to the walls around it. Most likely. Let's take all this glue off. You just hold it off, Paul. It's all down on camera. Boom! You just hold this. I can hold it. Yeah. So this can be a left or a right. You just swap in. Allen Roth. Not just Allen. Not just Roth. It's Allen and Roth. Alright, I'm going to take this in there. Splinter. A fiberglass splinter. This is why you measure before you buy. So we can get the shower base in. We're going to have to connect into this drain and that vent. It is uh, ABS, but we're going to go ahead and connect it to Schedule 40. Um, so what I'll do, I've already cleaned up where we cut it from underneath. When we went inside, I'm going to go ahead and this is uh gotta be careful now i've got a lot of not putting the primer on it because it's not going to be under pressure i don't think we're going to have any issue oh it's going to be hard to get into that go to the base, this uh, base, the center would be on this side here from the out the inside wall to the center of it, it's about 15 inches, and the center this way, about eight and a quarter. Now, this piece of plywood would be a line we could go to since I don't have the plate there that never was there. Rot it out. 12 inches to here, and we're eight inches this way, eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter from 12 inches would be three and three quarter. And that's what I've got marked here. And then 15 inches from this wall, like we talked about getting to the center again, is right there. So, and what I've got to do now is go three and three quarter, like we said, right there to the center of that drain.
This is a trap that we need to have and it's adjustable. It's about right there. Need to be right here. And we'll dry fit it first to make sure it works. So we'll have to keep cutting it and putting more couplings and stuff that you can do if you make a mistake. So we'll go outside and we'll cut this and we'll come back in here and try it out. And uh, then we'll see what we need to do to come up. And then we'll put the drain on. So we'll cut away and I'll come back when we get ready to put this together. center this way and 15 from the wall this way that means this can be all glued together and it works make sure we don't put this glue over something like that plastic base and uh, drip it on there and run it Now we got to adapt an inch and a half. This is inch and a half to two inch adapter, which I'll go ahead and put in the base itself. We'll have to have a little piece coming up to it. I'm wondering if I can reach from here without having to crawl underneath here to do it. Probably can. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and go to the drain and put that in. they're going to give you is a drain that you can get like this and you're like oh how do I get inside there well you take a blade screwdriver and you pop it up you don't have to drop it like I just did so this let me have that this allows you to turn down this piece right here With a screwdriver. Why would you do that? Because you can tighten it down on that rubber and uh, tighten down the oh, the top. To tighten caulking nut, use screwdriver. This has got rubber gasket in here. The nut goes on last. This here, which is to keep you from twisting up the rubber goes next to last and first thing goes on is this rubber I'm gonna stick it through here okay. 
You know, need to put plumber's putty or some clear silicone. So we'll cut away. I'll put some, and we're going to put that right here. Plumber's putty or clear silicone. Let's do that. Cut away. Rubber and then the plastic. Sometimes they give you cardboard on smaller sink drains. Either way, is to keep this nut from twisting that rubber gasket up. take the blade screwdriver after we put the adapter on it. Yeah, it's a two inch to an inch and a half. Like the way required. Plastic cover on it, you'll pull that off. You don't have to do it right now, but if you were doing grout or something, you would leave it on for a while. Take it off the last when you're doing the sealer. For yeah, well, I'm thinking about reaching underneath. Well, you still need a piece to go in. Yes, I'm thinking about reaching underneath. Nice. Put that outside somewhere for now. I don't want to go on the floor. Gap back there, man. I had to build that up with some plywood. You see, that's another story. So now we got to get connected between the two. How much room do we <clears throat> Try 
try not to <coughs> crawl under. Um, let's get a four foot level, turn that off. We'll see how far down this goes below the floor. This is sitting on the floor. It literally hits right above that washer, or right below that washer. That, all this will be hanging down. So all of this measures to one and seven eighths, but we're going to go one in, one inch in here. So seven, so seven eighths of an inch down is where we're at. So what we'll do is go inside this and go up to here and then subtract seven eighths, maybe even one inch. Four and seven. So we need a four inch piece, maybe three and seven eighths inch. Like a jackass. <laughs> so this is where I'm going next is the three and seven eighths inch and a half piece and then we'll glue it into place in that and then glue it and drop it down into that we'll have to guide it in most likely This is all doing it so we don't have to go underneath the house. We put the piece in, glued it, and just eased it down. I literally could see in there, guided it, dropped it in with glue on it. So everything's glued solid. In just a minute, it will be ready to just run water in it. Now we're going to, that is how you do your base. We're going to do some fastening to the wood in different places. And we're going to look at the instructions with you, and we'll let you know what we see. We have to disallow some of the other languages in here that I'm fine with. I just don't need it. Seems like somebody could save some paper money by just uh, not printing that part in that country. But hey, somebody was fussing at me because I was talking about a product that didn't have any English on it. But this has French and Spanish and English. So I would rather that product have all those than not my language, which is predominant in the United States of America. Predominant across the world. It's also a business language across the world. So anyway, I was fussing out. I think it was about... Uh, the Prodex is all in Spanish, and I know some Spanish, but uh, it was all in Spanish, and so I said, hey, you know, why don't they put it in a language that Americans can read, and somebody corrected me on it, uh, saying, well, America goes all the way down to Argentina, and they're true, but if all of America could read it, it would be English in it, just like this has English, Spanish, and French. So, although I like Prodex, and I still use Prodex, uh, I don't like the fact that there's no instructions in English. Uh, I would think that would be an advantage if they just did that. But Either way, we're going to get back with you when I uh, provide I don't fall asleep reading the instructions. Now, uh, this gives quite a lot of instructions on how to get your floor level. In this case, we already had that done how to get it uh, so that it's the floor is level so that when this sits it has a slope that goes that way and to the drain. It's also recommended that you not use putty tape like silicone here. And then we have located where the studs are. In this case mobile homes are pretty sparse and they're pretty small so you have to be pretty careful. What I've done is look around for the staples Happened to be a stud here, stud here, and then I could see a staple. I want to see a staple right there. So we drill holes where that those studs are. 
and then we'll put screws in it. That's how flimsy the walls are. This is supposed to have backer board over it, but we're not going to do that because we already have paneling to fasten to. Um, in, in that case, again, it has instructions on how to install the backer board and then the, the plastic over it. We're going to do that. ceramic tile, you would do the hardy backer, and then you would do your ceramic tile, it would run, your hardy backer would go over the top of this lip, and the water would run, and the, then the ceramic tile would go on that, and it would all run inside. There is how we do the base. The floor, you'll have to follow the instructions before you put the drain in, we've already done all that to make sure the floor was level and supported properly. Um, there's the screws, and this thing is not moving. And uh, it will be walking good. And that is for the Allen and Roth base. There you go, guys. Okay, we got the uh, next tile. Professional tile look, less work, four piece shower wall set. So this thing weighs, uh, it says 130 pounds and believe me, it, it weighs every bit of that. It's heavy um, and bulky. So let's open this up. Here we go, gentlemen, let's open this up. Let the people see. A good sign. Let's take a look at that. It's supposed to look like tile, I think. And I'll take this piece off. Are you supposed to grab it? Make it look like tile? No. <laughs> Three hundred and sixty-nine dollars for the base. I don't know what it was for this. Probably more than the base. I would say. Are you hearing it all in that room? Yeah. Why? Because. How many times are you going to do that? A bunch. Wait. This is the upper piece. It's recessed in. I guess you I, I can't see that. So it's recessed in and you put your shampoos and stuff and soap. Right. Hold it up like it's supposed to go. The water. Oh, one of them shorter. This one, and that one sits on top of it. This one sits on the bottom. And then the other one sits on top of that. Okay. So you put this on first. Here's your stubborn. <laughs> All rights reserved. Huh? I thought it said new tile. But anyway, see the pieces? This is the end. That's an end. The bigger piece on the bottom and the little one on the top. Looks like we're going to have to have white silicone. I hate measuring. You don't have any of those. 
screws, washers, bucket drill, wood shims. All right. I think we got all that. All right. See you guys later. Put some trim over that. Ideally, it would be PVC trim, but I don't think we have any. Maybe I'll buy some. See what Instructions for this panel says insert this in. Uh, I can read it to you, but that's what it says. It, it's not telling you what you need to know. You need to lift this up probably about an inch and a half, uh, maybe even two inches up, in, and then down, and it will lock in place. If you notice over here, these place, things right here, you have to lift over those and then down. And it locks in. I uh, so let me show you where it locks in at. So what you're doing is sliding up, and then these things are sliding behind the other pins. You have the pins here, uh, say right here, you have to lift up the whole panel to where it lifts over and then slides in. And it just locks itself in that way. So we had to learn that. That was not in the instructions. Uh, and then we're going to pre-drill holes. I'm probably going to replace those since uh, this is a budget thing. Oh, sort of. This is really not a budget. Uh, it's around. Normally, you would hang drywall and then go around the corner and all that. And then our house, house, because you'd be uh, with this framing. In this case, we're going to. I'm going to put white screws. And uh, if she wants to, we'll put trim in later. Um, this on this side here is where the faucet is going to go, which means for a pretty interesting trip I'll take you with us on that but uh, we'll probably replace all those screws with white headed screws or something like that yeah, we could put a PVC trim up there that will never rot which is a plastic trim makes it look nice and that will look kind of cool too I wanted you guys to see what it was to put in a Henshaw toilet it's a, an elongated bowl Shows a 12 inch rough end, which is kind of normal. Uh, 30 inches high, 16 and three quarters high on the bowl itself, and 28 inches out. So let's see what it looks like. We'll put it together and learn to. I think I've done one of these, two or three of these before. There's the wax ring which we will need. Let's pour the bowl to the tank. 
we just going over to the edge of that. Right. Well, you could, but you'd have to well, not. I would sit right down on the floor. If they go up to it, both sides. Just put this right here on this old carpet. Don't see the bolts to tighten everything. Yeah, oh, they're there. All right. Rubber gasket. Well, I better show you. There's a three squares here. Well, fit on that. Take this loose. That's good to get the nut to hold that washer on the inside. That's always good whenever you're replacing them too, to have that extra nut in the kit. We have never had too many nuts. That's what we need. <laughs> the, uh, there's companies that make money off of nuts. I'm sure they're nuts. They have to be certified nuts. And we ain't talk about almonds and pistachios. <laughs> All right. You're talking about Joe Biden. All right. Yeah, you have to. I can't say that c word no more. No. <laughs> well, Phil, she told me. I'm about it. All right, I put the, the bolts into those holes. I think John got in trouble. Maybe. Won't be his first, might not be his last. No, oh, definitely not his last. Putting the nuts on here. started. Put a little weight on it back in here.
think I got a new blade for that somewhere. blade screwdriver but we'll see I was going to thank that lady for that toilet that I got for the trailer the other day. I deleted her deal and I couldn't find her nowhere. She disappeared. I did find her while they were trading that toilet for any other toilet. That's a big toilet. It was black brand new. I wonder if I should put the washer in there with it to try and be better. Mom called me up, or no, she messaged me one, like a few days back. It's like, the commode's not filling. I was like, did you turn the shut off on? I never touched it, and it had water. It's like, <laughs> uh, oh, it's working now when I turned the knob. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the knob turned off? That's kind of We odd. turned it off, because she wasn't in the she was, Oh, she was going to be gone. Yeah. So you're a plumber. What's the well I should oh wait, Tasha. We're done getting the top. Gotta get a blade screwdriver to tighten that up. Lined up a little bit before I tighten it up. Well, I'm making it look harder than it really is. the toilet lid um, we're going to take it inside and install it you won't have to be with us for that but it's just that simple with these aqua source in this case it's a Henshaw uh, style so there you go you can do it and I was told by a, a, a gentleman that America goes all the way down to Brazil North America <laughs> <laughs> so I learned uh, that America, but uh, is not just the United States, and a lot of it is more than uh, English speaking, Spanish speaking, and so on. Uh, still, they can be Americans instead of Americans, also. Although, with me, they'll have to get it translated into Spanish because I'm not speaking it. I used to, not anymore. See you later. We're going to open the American Standard Runsome shower and single handle faucet and see what it's going to take to put it in and install it in the shower that we have in there. 
owner's manual, like for a car. The shower ring with the halfway gasket. Another kind of ring. Shower neck. <laughs> Extension. A shower head. I believe that's shower head. doing a shower. And I believe this will be the bathtub neck. Downspout. Yeah, we're not going to use that. Well, you need to cap it off. Yeah. It's pretty premium feeling. It's heavy. One of the heavier ones we've had. This is the up arrow, uh, top here. I believe usually it has it on the side somewhere, but no, nope, it's just on the plastic. Right there. Gotta pull this cap to access the valve. They can't get it back on, huh? Not the same. It has these grooves that it slips onto. For the shower head, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it says up there. The hot is on the left. Should always be on the left. The handle. I just do left to left, right to right. Got some screws, an Allen wrench for the handle, maybe the Allen screw, an extra one, I guess. I don't know what this brass thing is, but we will find out by reading instructions. Right. Something about balance. We put nail adapters, put pipe dope on them, and I'm gonna uh, tighten them up. Um, this is just a shower, so we won't need the lower one. But I might put one in there and put a plug in it. Somewhere in here I have two, I have a plug or two. So we'll put a male adapter on the bottom, put a plug in it. I think it's in the other pocket. So we'll get another male adapter, put pipe up on it.
hot and cold. And this is the up. This is the shower. Cold here, hot there. Um, Keep that for the power. Uh, crimpering. Plug. See the crimper. Now that going down to the bathtub spout is is now blocked off. Now I'm going to put a piece on this. Piece on that. Put an additional one for the elbow. Jumping tool. Allergic to plumbing. Okay. We're going to read the instructions and we'll show you what we do. I believe we're going to have to cut a hole. Max finish wall front surface right here. Minimum finish wall. Remove to install trim except thin wall. I'll read up on it and let you know what I find out. Putting this uh, 
faucet in in this mobile home wall, that was really difficult. What I've done is I uh, drilled through this one by putting the what they call a drop eared elbow for the shower head. And then I fastened it to this 2 by 4 so I could get it between these two places here. That was the easy part. Then, to get this 2 by 4 here so that the faucet could fasten to it, I had to push this over, fasten right there, and fasten right here. But it had to be notched out around this box, the electrical box right here. Then, we had to slide a 3 quarter piece of plywood here to push it out enough. And that meant cutting out the wood here so that we could get in. If you notice, this is really close. And uh, that was quite difficult. Uh, but now we have the shower faucet, which can you can set your uh, temperature. And it's American standard faucet. With the shower head, we have all the sides on. We're now ready to start caulking and sealing up everything, maybe putting some uh, PVC trim around it so it'll never rot and cover over all these screws, or I'll put some white-headed screws on it. And I'm also going to put some paneling on this that we took out now that we checked to make sure we don't have any leaks. And that's what we're doing. We're going to pack it up for the day. Thank you. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.